you know what? We almost had it. We almost had the the, tech, the technology free start, but welcome back, guys. Thank you for being patient with me as I was away for a week visiting my friends Dan Amara in Arkansas. We are back today with a movie review that I saw with them called Missing. Now, Missing, oh, there's a ketchup bottle. Yep. Uh, see behind the scenes real quick. Got it. You got it. You got it. All right. Now we're back. Um, missing stars Storm Reed. It is from the directors. Let me get their names real quick. Uh, Nicholas Johnson and Will Merrick. They directed uh, the John Cho led movie Searching last year. And I don't it's hard not to say gimmick because like it. But that sounds so derogatory. The lens of this film is all on a screen. Everything's on a computer like you never leave the computer screen uh, Everything's through webcams uh, There's smart watches uh, Zoom windows iMessage Facebook messenger literally everything is done from a computer Which is a really interesting concept if done well I never saw that unfriended movie, but I heard it was terrible So it definitely can go any way and that's the same with you know found footage with stuff like a one take thing like 1917 it can go any which way and searching I think that was 2017 2018 was really slept on I had a great time with it and honestly outside of the whole and I'm, I'm gonna say gimmick but I don't mean it like in a bad way I mean it in a really good way the whole gimmick I feel like gets lost that missing was or searching was a really good mystery and guess what? So is Missing. Missing star was Storm Reed, which you guys probably know best from Euphoria. She's uh, Zendaya's little sister. Let me double check that. I'm like 95% sure I haven't watched uh, Euphoria in like two years. Uh, yes, I am right. Uh, she was in A Wrinkle in Time and she was in something recently. Um, what was it? Is it Suicide Squad? Maybe it was Suicide Squad Invisible Man. She's been putting in a lot of work and I just remember saying but because like John Cho is a, a long time actor and so I knew he could carry something like that and while Storm Reed is a very accomplished young actor it takes a lot to just be on screen the entire time there's a few times you know where they cut away to like just someone typing or something like that but there's no like oh we're going to go into the other room we're going to focus on the detectives over here doing this and that no it's just her basically the entire movie and uh she is living with her single mom and her mom goes on a romantic getaway with her boyfriend and goes missing so it's up to her and you know the fbi is involved but you know they're just like hey we gotta wait like the 48 hours like before we follow missing persons there's a lot of twists and turns in this movie and obviously stuff that i don't want to give away because it's a mystery thriller but there are really good moments in this movie where you think you have it figured out and you just don't and i love that i love that about a mystery movie that it takes a lot to unwind this and i really enjoy it i had a great time i thought especially for something that you are stuck on the screen it is not going anywhere i was still on the edge of my seat with this and that's really well done and i mean it's crazy that people text from their computer. I mean, I guess I have to, but just like everything you can do from your computer. And especially now, like even in, I was, I was talking about this with Dan. I was like, even in 2018, there was things I was like, eh, would he still be on his computer for this? Would there really be footage of this? I don't know. It's a little bit of a stretch, you know, like that's, that's the thing about all these found footage movies is like, okay, when Cloverfield would go down, you're going to put down the camcorder. Nowadays, have you been on TikTok? Everything is recorded. Every single thing is being recorded and you're being recorded all the time. My biggest fear is being recorded out in public. Like if I pick my nose or scratch my ass or something. Oh, hey, uh, look at this. Ass scratcher goes viral. Oh, great. It's me when I thought I wasn't being paid attention to or I made a funny face at the gym or hey take a look at this jackass like what's he doing it's like that is such a real thing that goes on now that it's not outside of any realm of possibility that you can find anything and everything through cell phone footage through security cameras like I don't want to be a big brother as watching but they are they absolutely are. I cover every, I've got three webcams. I cover them every single night, no matter where they're pointing. Like, it, like you're not getting in on me 
NSA, CIA, granted, I'm sure you have every password I've ever gotten, but it does not matter. Uh, but it is so well constructed. I love the mystery. I love the thrills. Storm Reed does a great job carrying this movie, and I, I don't know if this is a, I never, I always feel like I always say like breakout performance when she's obviously like a star already. But this is so much more to me than anything she's done because like there's no leaning on other actors in a scene. There's no like, hey, we're going to cut away. Give me a, you know, like even like in a, in a tense conversation, you're, you're like, you know, f switching back and forth from perspectives. There's none of that. It's all her all the time. And she rules. She absolutely rocks the screen. And I can't wait to see what is next. And I can't wait to see what these directors do what it does. Like, the more technology we get, the more room they have to play with. Like, are, are we going to get a metaverse mystery next? I don't want it, but it's possible. It's possible. But thank you guys so much for watching. I highly recommend Missing. So, we've got a lot of stuff this week, guys. Uh, once the Oscars come out, when the nominations, I'm going to be watching all the Best Picture nominees because I know I've got some stuff. Like, I'm sure, like, Tar is going to be on there. Maybe Elvis. Maybe The Whale. Stuff that I haven't gotten to. Uh, and stuff that I really want to review. So I'm going to be doing all of that. And, you know, even like maybe maybe I'll do best actor, best actress stuff that like I haven't watched. And, you know, I know that's a lot of movies, but I want to just like really double down, and especially make up for lost time for the week I had off on Patreon. We've still got Patreon watches. Uh, I might do like some review for The Last of Us. Maybe I'll do like a mid season review because uh, I don't think I need to do an every every episode review. We'll see how they go. If I want to talk about something on The Last of Us, I'll jump on here and talk about it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great night. Bye-bye.